everybody welcome back to extreme heat pete i am extreme heat pete i'm in beast mode today because i'm here today to bring you a sauce review from none other than sean overthrow at flavor and fire here in the uk and it the sauce i'm reviewing is one of his newest sauces to hit the market which is the chef's sauce which is a worcestershire sauce crossover sauce in the style of Henderson's and Worcestershire sauce that's a mashup of the two together with a bit of chilli heat added to them now I'm going to run you through the ingredients before we crack this open so we've got ingredients spirit vinegar water cayenne chilli a nice bit of heat from the cayenne sugar caramel colour E150C corn syrup tamarind citric acid cloves garlic and Churchill salt. Now all his products use Churchill salts, which is good. Allergens uh, for allergens. See ingredients in bold. Manufactured in a facility that uses gluten, milk, eggs, nuts, and mustard for ingredients. And there is no allergens in this bottle whatsoever. So that's cool. Once open, refrigerate. Use within four weeks of opening. This won't last very long because I enjoy using this style sauce in all the cooking I do. Calories. Da, 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 da. Nutritional information per 100 ml serving. And there is zero calories in this sauce. Absolutely zero. Nothing. Nothing there. It's a 150 ml bottle too. And there you go. For recipes and serving suggestions, visit the website www.flavorandfire.co.uk. I will leave that in the description below for you to head over to his website. You can also follow him on Instagram at Flavor and Fire Instagram, Facebook at Flavor and Fire Facebook, and on Twitter, Flavor and Fire at Flavor and Fire on Twitter. I'll leave all that in the information below too. Now, let's crack this open. It's uh, not a waxed sealed bowl. Uh, most flavour of fire sauces these days are wax sealed. But this one is not. I'm, I'm hoping he will make a wax sealed version of this soon because I do like the wax sealed bowls. You can see, there you go. Look, I've got a few wax sealed ones there. I've also got a wax sealed eerie fire coconut which i'll be reviewing at some point soon that nice gold and green top gold red and green top pretty cool but back to the sauce review let's crack this open it has got a restrictor which is about right because it's such a loose sauce and it's now it's designed as a splashing sauce. But it's got a nice pour out of that restrictor. But it's coming out really nicely. Dark. It smells absolutely amazing. Wow. That is really nice. On a heat scale, I'll give it a 0.5. It's not very hot whatsoever. I would have thought there would have been a bit more heat from then cayenne peppers coming through, but no. Mm. That's actually really good. Look how, look how that's dripping out of the bowl. See, I'm not having to add any force to that coming out of the bowl. It's just Drip, 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 drip. Mm. That is so good. That, that is so good. That's going to get an EHP thumbs up for a thumbs up seal of approval. For being really, really tasty. Now, I can see myself adding this to gravies for your sunday roast 
adding to a chili con carne, adding to a taco mix, adding to a bolognese for a bit more flavour. Yeah, you know, add it to anything, even splash it over your fish and chips on a Friday night. Come on, there's nothing more British than splashing a load of Worcestershire sauce, well, Worcestershire sauce style sauce, all over your fish and chips and giving your fish and chips a bit of a, a bit of a lift. Yeah, it's so so good. In fact, I'm gonna put it on the line right now. I'm gonna say that is better than Worcestershire sauce. That's my personal opinion because it is really, really, really tasty. Now, Worcestershire sauce originally has anchovies in. This doesn't have anchovies in. So if you hate anchovies, then this sauce is a winner, winner, winner. All day long. Mmm, that's so, so good. I'm really struggling to find words to describe it. Uh, Everything else, what's going on with this? But it's really, really, really good. It's very family friendly as well. So all your little ones out there, they'll enjoy this sauce. Oh, I'm going back for a third spoon. I'm just give it a bit of a shake now. So, so good. Sean, you've produced an amazing sauce there, brother. Well done. This will be a regular on my table now for as long as it's in stock, of course. Mm -mm. So if you want to check him out, click head over to the links in the description. Go check out his full range sauces. He's got a huge range of sauces as well. And they all vary from family friendly to blow your ass off hot. He's also got the Chef's Comfy range out, the Oscars range out, the Henry's range. And yet again, they all cover different heat ranges. Also, if you like a bit of fire and you want a bit of fun, then check out his Chef Confi's Chili Roulette, which is cowboy candies basically. Cowboy candies being sweet, pe hot peppers in a sweet syrupy sauce. Now, I am going to be doing this very soon. I'm going to see how many I can eat. Not today, obviously. But I will be doing it at some point. See what all the hype is about. I have seen other YouTubers take it on. And they all say it's pretty damn good. For now, I'd like to give a mention to my sponsors, Some Like a Hot Dot Shop website. You can click on there, see that link in the description below, where they've got over 500 sources on their website, ranging from mild to wild, from all over the world at great, great prices. And if you remember to hit them up with that code EXTREME10 and check out EXTREME, all in capital letters. 10 and you'll get 10% off all your orders and if you spend over 20 pound right now you'll also get free delivery within the uk what's that more what, you know can't go wrong with that also please 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 check out dr dom and right dr dom's dot shop and right now if you purchase the butt burner sauce while well, stocks last you will not only just get the butt burner for five pounds but you will also get bring that down. You will also get dropping things a free sachet of his famous danger dust. You've got skull fucker, you've got angry grapes, uh, spicy snatch. Uh, there's another one called Hulk Vomit out as well. And I believe the butt burner one is also available. But not only will you get that all for five pounds at the moment, you'll also get this added to your order, which is a skull like a triple X sauce as well. So you get three great products for five pounds, plus a little bit of postage on top. So what more could you, you know, what 
what more do you want? Look, all this. For five pounds. Apart from only one packet, of course. Uh, free products for five pounds plus a bit of postage. Can you go wrong with that? So check him out. Also remember to give me a big thumbs up saying you enjoyed my videos. Also remember to share your friends and family. Smash that red button, send it great. You know what to do. Keep on subscribing for more artisan source reviews and live shows from me, EHP and my team as well. Remember, Alex the Milkman Holloway is a member of my team. And so is Chris, the chef, Nova51, also a member of the team. And big shout out to LG from Ethanol Gaming Committee, who worked hard behind the scenes at EHP2. But for now, I have been Extremely Peak. Thank you all for watching. This has been my sauce review from Henry's Hot Sauce. This is the chef's hot sauce. Go check it out. You will not be disappointed. But for now, I have been Extremely Peak. Bye-bye.